Let's talk about linear equations. And if you're taking any sort of algebra course, things like pre-algebra, algebra one, this is a huge topic. Now, what is a linear equation? Well, if we just look at the root word of uh, here of uh, linear, what we have is lines. So what we're talking about are equations of lines. And that kind of falls in line with our problem right here. So our problem is a linear equation problem. And let's go and read the problem right now. It says graph the line with a slope of two thirds and a Y intercept equal to one. So if you think you could do this, go ahead and take out a piece of paper and a pencil and go ahead and just do a quick sketch. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just see if we can kind of get a accurate um, sketch of this line with a slope of two thirds and a Y intercept equal to one. I'm actually gonna show you the correct answer in just one second and then I'm gonna walk through this step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer here. So we have a line with a slope of two thirds and a Y intercept equal to one. All right, so basically this is what you should have. Now you're gonna wanna have a nice little X, Y plane and here is the line. So at a minimum, this would be your line, but it's a, a more appropriate when you're graphing or sketching a line to have a couple points of reference on your line. So I have here the point zero one, which is the Y intercept and another point that's on this line three, three. And this right here is actually the specific linear equation to this line. Now. If you didn't uh, write this, that doesn't mean that you're wrong, but that would be a nice bonus. But basically, you'll know whether you got this right or if you uh, did not. Either way, we're gonna walk through exactly how to do this. But uh, anyways, for those of you that did get this correct, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and a plus a 100%. And a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know how to graph a linear equation. I'm pretty sure they'll be very impressed with that. They're gonna be like, wow, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the actual solution here. So what we're gonna do is graph the line. Now, when you see the word line in algebra, you can just, uh, it's basically synonymous with linear, with linear equation, okay? So I could say graph the linear equation with a slope of two thirds and y equals uh, one. But anyway, you just need to understand that the uh, term line, okay, by definition is the same thing. It's the graphical representation of a linear equation. All right, so in algebra, probably the number one way to graph lines, graph linear equations, is using the slope intercept form. That is y equals mx plus b. So hopefully you're familiar with this form of a line or this form of a linear equation. Now, m is the slope of a line. That's the number in front of an X. Now, of course, we know the slope. It is two thirds and B is the Y intercept. So we know this, uh, both pieces of information. So we could just simply write um, uh, this actual specific linear equation by just being uh, writing out Y equals two thirds X. Again, this is our M and then our B, our Y intercept is one. Okay, so this is the actual equation that we're looking to graph. So really this problem, uh, you know, could be stated this way, graph the linear equation y equals two thirds x plus one. So what we're really, really talking about is how do you graph a line when it is in y equals mx plus b form or slope intercept form? Okay, so this is super easy, but a lot of students get confused. But before I even tell you the little uh, procedure here, how many points do you need to plot on your graph to graph a line. Well, one is not enough, right? So I'm like, oh, I got one point. I don't really know what the line's gonna look like. Yeah, you need two points at a minimum. Now you could have three points, but that's you know uh, not required, but you, you need a minimum of two points to graph a line, right? So how do we get these two points? Well, we're gonna always start with the y-intercept. This will be our first point, okay? This is so, so easy. You're gonna see how this works in just one second. So how do we get our second point? Well, we're gonna use our slope information here, two thirds. I like to think of it as like driving directions to get to our second point, 
Okay, then we'll have our two points and then we can draw, uh, graph the line. Okay, so again, we're going to start with the y intercept as our first point. We're going to plot that. Then we're going to use the slope information as kind of a set of driving directions. And we're going to start from the first point's location and then we're going to arrive at a second point and then we'll be able to graph this line. It's going to be easier to kind of see this in action. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Okay, now if you're like already thinking, boy, I'm going to need additional help with this, uh, I teach all this completely in my pre-algebra and algebra one courses in my math help program. So if you really want to take a deep dive into uh, linear equations, those are the courses that you want to check out. All right, so the first thing you want to do is to plot the y-intercept. So remember, we have this. It's not necessary for you to understand that we're dealing with the linear equation y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. Hopefully you understand that, but this is where we have to start with that 1 or y-intercept. So what we're going to do is plot a 1 on the y-axis. That's the location where the line is going to intercept the y-axis, i.e. the y-intercept. So we're going to plot a point on 1 on the y-axis. Okay, So you can see here I'm using graph paper. So just plot a point right there, 1. Now, you can label that point, and it's actually preferable that you do. Okay, But in this case, I'm just going to do is plot a 1 right there. Now, we need to use the slope right here, the slope information, to get to the second point. And this is where a lot of students get confused. So a real quick review. So what is the slope? Well, the slope by definition is the rise over the run of a line. Now the rise and run of a line is always going to look like this. So if you have a positive slope, you're going to, it's going to be up and over to the right. So you're rising up this much and you're running over this much. So it's a, basically, it's going to be up and to the right, but the run is always to the right. And so our line will look like so. Okay. If you have a negative slope, your rise is down. Okay. You have a negative rise, but your run is always to the right. So if this was a slope of negative two thirds. It would be down and to the right, but it's positive. So it's going to be up and to the right. Okay. There's one thing you really need to understand about linear equations. That is slope. All right. So here's how we do this. So from, uh, from one, okay, we're going to use our driving directions, the rise and run the slope. And we're going to go up two, okay, and then we're going to uh, turn right and go out three. That is our driving directions to get to our second point. But we need to start this from our y-intercept point. So that's one. Okay, so we're going to go up two right here. So one, two, just count that off. Remember, you're starting at one, so this is one, two, three. But you're going to go up two from the y-intercept, and then you're going to go over right three, one, two, three. And that lands us on our second point. And basically, you're done. All you need to do is draw your lovely uh, line that goes through those two points. Let's go ahead and take a look at the final graph right now. So here you go. Now, this point here is 0, 1. Okay, that is the y-intercept. And if we count, if we're just really careful about this, this is 1 right here. So if we went up 2, so this is 2, 3, and then we went over 1, 2, 3. So this point would be 3, 3. This point would be uh, 0, 1. And then, of course, our final linear equation is y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. If you showed all this information on your graph, uh, on a quiz or test, your teacher would be just so impressed and be like, boy, this is like really good work. You must be watching that guy on YouTube. I don't know. Or studying extra hard, but you're doing something right. Okay. So if this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.